Welcome to the Empowered Business Rampage, and welcome back to my Dominion Wise and God campaign for the Divine Conquer version 5 mod from Medieval 2, where we're going to continue the from last time. Where at this point in time, we have it so that Erit Luin, uh, let's see, three, I think it's six, yeah, six turns until they are dead, and then I will have it so that for the most part right now, we are focusing on to the Dunedain, which I have a shit ton of troops ready and waiting to go around Ethelin here. I am going to lead this assault myself as the gates are open around here, and so I'm going to try to minimize our casualties here by destroying the High King. So, well, so everyone else here is helping out, because why the hell not? I don't trust the auto resolve to make us, uh, and also auto resolve makes me lose more men of my as and as high. So we want to make sure we fight this ourselves, push on in here. I'm hoping that today we can kill the Dunedain. It's so close, and uh, if we do, I am I'm going to be having. So I need to start trying to figure out like what campaign we're going to finish uh, be doing after this one. I think it's a good time because after that we are just going to be pushing to the east in a unified blob of troops. Essentially, and when we do that this campaign should not take that much longer to finish up So I'll tell everybody to be aggressive essentially. I have a lot of skirmishers in this army Which is kind of that's okay get You guys up get you guys to back up I'll basically have my trolls rush on in immediately because you guys if you're the first casualties uh, You should be recovered almost entirely. So we'll back everybody else up for right now Just back up here start the battle uh, Most of them are actually on my side. So let's wait Let's wait. Let's tell you guys all to be aggressive. The gates are open, so you guys can just walk on in freely. Uh, they have a lot of cav and a lot of basic units. If they get to the city center, I should... I just need you guys to blob up. Like, if you blob up, let me get in range with my Nazhi, and I can just absolutely destroy you with my grenades. Gladly. Because for right now, my allies... Let's see. You guys actually making your way on in? Are none of you moving forward? Guys... You guys are moving a little bit. These guys are moving a little bit. Come on, guys. Just walk inside the damn city. <laughs> these guys are. Yeah, these guys are walking on in. I need somebody to distract them because they're all on my side right now. Okay. My trolls took a little bit of damage uh, with the ballista towers making their way on inside. But we're now here. I'm going to now be able to start trying to flank. And I'm going to have you guys go straight for the general's bodyguard. Because, again, with you guys being the first casualties, we should recover most of this. Especially if I can kill the general's bodyguard. And get you guys to start breaking. So let's focus you down. Because most of these other armies aren't really doing anything right now. I've got my guys over here. And also hopefully with me maybe taking the city center. They'll decide to kind of pull back. Because you guys right now at the moment. You're just sitting there. <laughs> Thank you. So now we can just have the Jill's bodyguard. He does have armor piercing. So he could possibly do some good damage against you. But this is two trolls. So I expect you to try and be able to beat him back. So you should be fine I think. Because once he's dead, everybody else should break. As there's just this massive ass fucking blob here. You guys are starting to make your way over here. Also, I still somehow technically have the city center. I'm barely inside of it, so that's perfect. Oh, there it goes. Well, they took out my trolls, but at this point in time, they lost 69% of their army. Their general's not dead yet. Uh, enough of their men have now moved away from the walls. I'm actually pretty happy now moving my guys in. As I should only need to bring in and help out with my Nazhi. Because if you guys just throw grenades, you're going to instantly kill these units. So I'll get you guys to run in over here. Just want to make sure the towers weren't active before I did so. So you guys weren't going to be shot at. But their general's still alive. He's currently at... Where is he? He was in here still. Yeah, he's still in here. He's like the only infantry in this area. There we go. I uh, might trolls just to get that close to killing them off. I can't see him with all this cabin here. I know he's still in this blob. He's somewhere in here. I just don't know where. But that's fine. It doesn't matter. Once we get my uh, Nazhi in here, we're just going to throw grenades anyways. Yeah, because like this guy are, is almost dead. I'm going to get on in here. They've lost 80% of their army now. And we've lost, let's see, 13%. Mainly one of my armies took damage here. I think that's okay for the most part. Seeing as how we've down now just been gathering all of our troops around here. If one army takes some damage, that's fine. We have more. We're just going to keep pushing is essentially the kind of the goal right now. Is we want to see if we can just beeline and blitz through the forces of the Dunedain. Because once the Dunedain are dead, we have all of this area under our control. And then I can finally push into one unified front. 
Alrighty, so now all that's left is the stuff inside. You guys might hit some of my own units, but I want you to start throwing stuff in here so we can start trying to figure out where is their general's bodyguard? Because he's in here somewhere. And he's the only reason they haven't shattered yet. Yeah, so there we go. Where is he? He's in here somewhere, damn it! See, oh, wait, is he like... Let's see. He's right here. There's the son of a bitch. That's why I couldn't find him. He was in melee with my infantry there. Um, let's see, so there's still these wardens here. You want to hit them? Just get a little closer and try and hit that guy. Because it's just the general's bodyguard. Yeah, get like one more toss on in there. Hit the wardens. Yeah, they're broken. Enemy general's finally dead. There we go. Okay. So with that, the rest of their forces should break now. Especially if I try and scream at them. So that will be the end. Oh, that's also their high king. Um, I don't think it's going to kill them through Regicide. It'd be great if it did. I just don't. I highly doubt it. Let's see. So, did I recover? I did not recover many of my trolls. Oh, I recovered three trolls. That's okay. That's fine. We have the city. We have it under our control. And now, we'll gather men together, and we're just going to keep pushing. Because we can have it so that we, since we have so many armies around here, I can have the beat-up units stay behind, start watching over the territory, and then we keep pushing. There's only a couple territories that the Dunedain control at this point in time. And so basically we want to just keep gathering forces, keep pushing in one unified direction, and essentially we want to get to Latash. And then once we have Latash, that will be the end of them. We then start gathering all of our forces over there before we do a final push and we start pushing to the east. So that's Athlon. Occupy that again. And then, again, for right now, let's see. Merge men together, merge men together. Let's merge all your men together, and we'll just leave behind whoever's really beat up. So, like, let's get you out of here. I know you're beat up. You're beat up. I'll leave you two here. You're beat up. You can stay behind. You can stay behind. You can stay behind. You can stay behind. Um, let's see, this army... You're actually fine. Um, I would want to put some more infantry into my army, since I lost those trolls. Just one of you in there. So, this army's here is fine. I'll just have you kind of stay over here. Start just trying to repair, and then start getting... Well, actually get the conversion first. Then build up the infrastructure for recruits. Do that. And then, we'll have to have it so we merge these guys into, uh, one, into one army again. Let's grab, like... These guys, leave a slot in case we get a general's bodyguard here. Okay, now, we can keep pushing forward now. So now we need to make our way over here. And we can grab Leofric now as well. Leofric's been chilling around here. Uh, you can start trying to retrain some or recruit some stuff around there. And then you'll be able to move out of that area. Angsul, this area's barely at 70%. Uh, it doesn't have any spies in here. So if I send you up there. At least one spy will help convert it a little faster. So you can do that. Get another one around here. These guys, I'll, I'll wait until like next turn to move out. Because uh, I want to grab all these guys. So that way we'll have six armies moving forward. Making our way to Rasha Ragla. And then this area here. Like you're trying to grab some troops around this area. So we can move out of there. Because we'll hit uh, their capital first. Morvatarth has like nothing in it. Latash has this one army near it. So that's fine. That's not an issue. Uh, back down here, I know we're still... Slowly but surely. Yeah, you guys are all moving forward. Wanted to make sure you were. We're all trying to gather forces around over here. Uh, so that we have two big blobs. And we want to try and just, like snipe this territory. Then we'll probably turn back around and try and hit this. Because they are kind of trying to hit, uh, harass us a little bit. Uh, let's see. Back up here. I do need to... Let's see Zagar. Let's see. Give me these guys. There there. Uh, I didn't have an extra boat. You want to fight here. Let's see. If you want to try and assault it, you can. I'm not opposed to you trying to do that, so I'll, I'll let you, but I'm now here. They might probably just, like, break off, honestly, and stop trying to fight around there. That's kind of my guess. Right, let's see. So we got some more stuff sieged. Mount Graham. Oh, no. Mount Graham is sieged. That's fine. I have a ton of artillery, and it's a mountain hold. I'll be fine. Um, let's see. So, destruction right there. 
And then now we just want to have it so that, oh my god, we have so many armies around here. Especially after all you guys keep gathering around. Because I love how many forces we have around here. I know, Ang Sul, you guys will take a while until you're happy around here. But at least with that other spy, it's going to make it a little bit easier. So, now let's get forward. Let's see. So, at this point in time, let's see who is, you can get to here. I want to have it so you're all grouped up together with us. We're moving in unison. So move at the slowest speed. So like right there, right there, and then like right there. Uh, this army also keep trying to catch up with us as well. And then basically, um, I can probably have you just like just grab some like these guys. They can just watch over the territory for us. Um, that way, yeah, I'm trying to train that too. That way we can move out next turn with your army uh, as long as you're happy. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine there. So you'll keep making your way over there, uh, back over here. They are still deciding to siege me. I don't want you to, but uh, honestly, I don't want to have to do that fight right now. I want to focus on other fronts. If you guys want to keep doing that, that's okay. These guys, yeah, slowly but surely, just gathering around over here. Uh, those armies are moving about. They're not sieging me right now, which is good. You know, so keep making your way up here with all these troops. Because I've got at least a couple armies. Uh, Money-wise, I'm barely losing money, so we have to stop uh, recruiting stuff. And we'll have you, let's see, so this guy, you can use six units. So you can grab six units here, and then you can use five units, which is almost perfect. So we can have you grab these guys, and then there's a couple more men right here we're going to want to grab as well. There we go. So we've got all that. These three armies are making their way forward. We've got two here. And I've got all this. So that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that'll be really great. We'll make our way up here next once we regroup. Then um, uh, once we take that territory, we'll probably have it so we'll take like, I don't know, like half the army from here, half the army from here. Uh, this one technically still borders up here, so they could still want to try and attack this territory. So maybe I should just grab the troops from this city and uh, push you guys forward to be the new garrison for this territory because that will move the front forward. They'll want to focus their attention over here. Then we want to have it so we'll go back, hit this territory, then keep making my way up north, trying to take these other cities. I'm going to have to leave you alone for a little bit. Same with, uh, well, not you. I might be able to hit you, possibly. It's just I have to get the forces of Zagar back on, uh, back off of this island, but I need you guys to try and attack this area first. Yeah, you guys are actually going to decide to attack us here for once. Okay, so uh, I have two Nazgul in this army. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> It's Castle Doom East with two Nazgul. Like, Fulberg was an interesting place to try and defend. Um, trying to defend Castle Doom with two Nazgul is even meaner, honestly. So, let's see how this goes. Uh, once they all blob up, then we can just unload, and hopefully we just delete their entire army with just the Nazgul. I hope we, sh I, we do. Let's so start to plummet. Get you guys all up here. Ballistas... I'll have to adjust you guys later. Crossbows can get around here. Nazgul, you guys need to have firewall off. Uh, again, we kind of want to have it so that you guys are in front. So if anybody's taking casualties first, it's going to be you guys. But basically, we want to just kind of push... Okay, we'll start this. So kind of push onto the bridge a little bit. Just so we can kind of pressure them, make sure they're on the bridge. And then once they're on the bridge... We kind of have it so that you guys kind of stop around there. Don't go too far forward. Just make sure you're on the bridge so that if they try and start pushing up, we have a good way to kind of push them back. Nazgul, kind of move up here. All my crossbows right behind you guys. It's like right there. Oh, come on. Right there. Yeah, there we go. So you guys do that. One ballista move here. One ballista move here. And then for the most part... You guys just need to kind of have it so you're around here. And we wait for them to get to us. Alrighty, I see a decent blob. Let's try and get a shot in over here. This might be too far away. Are you actually going to throw your stuff? No, you're actually still hitting some stuff over there. Uh, trolls, if you can, because you're the ones pushing way the hell up. Actually, I think it's okay for right now. Because you guys will die, you'll recover, and then we'll get you guys back here in a second. But yeah, let's just wait. Trolls are almost dead. Do keep trying to throw stuff over in here. Because they're really blobbed up right now. They've got a couple of guys in the back still. So I want to make sure we don't use up all of our ammo. There we go. 
There's one enemy general dead. Oh, that's the main general dead already. Beautiful. Yeah, try and keep pushing forward, guys. Keep trying to push forward if you want. Yeah, blob back up again before I start firing once more. Okay, so let's try and hit like here, here. Kind of spread out the damage there a little bit. There we go. Throw and then cease fire. Because they've already lost uh, half of their army so far. We've got a couple guys in the back there. Quite a few units are running. Let's, let's get some other shots over here. I would like to hit back here. Yeah, can you try and throw some stuff back there a little bit? Or are those guys too far away? I think they might be too far away. Yeah, because they have to get to, like, about here, and then I can easily throw stuff at them. To try and hit this guy. And uh, if anything at all, my crossbows, you guys still have a lot of ammunition. So you guys can still do a lot. Yeah, lost two-thirds of their army already. Who's the What are the general's bodyguard units? I didn't even pay attention to that. Um, they are... Nice Galadriel marches. No, it's the March Wardens. The March Wardens are the General's Bodyguards. Which at the moment right now, you guys are doing what you can. Let's see. I see some more March Wardens back here. There goes another enemy's General's Bodyguards, so we've killed two of them now. Oh, there's a third, actually. Staying out three of their General's Bodyguards with my crossbows doing the thing. Uh, Ballistas, if you guys can open fire too, uh, please do. Because you guys should be able to open fire back there as well. Yeah, that's cool. You can at least try and hit this blob right here. You don't have much ammo left, so might as well just use it up on whoever you can. Yeah, so cease fire. Save your ammo. And I think this might be the last general's bodyguard that's still alive is this one right here, so freely use your ammo on that guy. And then I think... Oh, they're running. Uh, they are going to get away. You guys have no ammo. Well, at this point in time now, it's literally just us sitting here. We've killed 80% of their army so far. Crossbows, ballistas, do your thing. And it's basically us just trying to trade blows with them. Now that they've uh, we've done as much damage as we can. We could push forward, and I probably should to get them to stop firing us. Yeah, because it's just these generals bodyguard left. So let's get you guys to push forward. I think it's fine to send you guys up there. Because we just don't want them to freely shoot us. So if we get into melee with you guys. I think this is the last general's bodyguard that's left. Yeah, this one with... Yeah, it's, it's one unit. This is one unit, essentially. There's like one other, maybe two in here. But it's mainly this March Warden. So let's get rid of you. Start fighting that guy. There we go. We were able to take out every single Jones bodyguard there. Beautiful. Nazgul did some amazing amount of damage. And I'm pretty happy with that. Wait, actually, did we recover the trolls? I did not pay attention to that. Uh, we did. We recovered all the trolls. Perfect. So we'll keep holding up here at this point in time. If this slowly whittles down Lothorian, that'd be great for us. Because for right now... Basically, we are trying to have it so we want to finish off the Dunedain. I want to deal with Rohan. Technically, I actually I could do one or two things. I could okay instead of going after Dornwinian, I could actually take all of uh, Saruman's armies and go after Rohan. Then from Rohan, we then go into Lothlorien. Or do we want to keep? Do we or do we want to keep fighting Darwinian? Darwinian's already pretty weak. I think at least I should maybe at least take that one territory, just so we have a different defense. No, I'm, I've been holding fine against Darwinian though, because if I bring all those forces to bear that I have um, right now with uh, Saruman against the forces of Rohan, they're dead. Um, Especially if I had decided to bring troops from the west too. Which, eh, if we have enough money, I could. Because um, I know we still have our, our Nazgul chilling there that have been doing nothing for forever. Honestly, I'm actually kind of leaning towards that. Because basically what we can do is we regroup all of our armies. Because originally I was thinking, oh, we'd have like one big blob of troops over here fighting to the east. One big blob of troops down here fighting north. But we could instead just have one big blob, a massive blob, with Saruman, the Nazgul, all of the Uruks in one massive war host. Um, so basically, like, we'd, pu we'd push up this way. We'd then, like, regroup. And then we'd be like, hey, regroup up here. Push uh, all together. Like, I kind of actually lean towards that. 
because I don't feel like we have to go for that city yet. I'm going to keep this up just because, so I don't forget. Because also, I think we might be able to hit a city and get enough money to actually build that. Because I know, like, you guys, one turn there. So four more turns until Ered Lewin is dead. Um, I think we have enough movement to... Yes, I do. So if I go here, because I'll be wanting to leave with you. These guys are probably going to back off. It's my guess, but we'll try and get you guys all grouped up around here. Ready to help out against this. Uh, you can get to here. That's about it. Uh, also, don't want to forget about you, my good sir. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pull you out of here. Yeah, these guys stay behind. Because then I can get uh, you over here, Leo Frick. So Leo Frick's right there. I actually am leaning towards that idea, because then if that's the case... You guys, yeah, keep making your way over this way. But it's now to be able to bring you back to hit uh, Rohan. Because we'll gather all these forces together. And we'll make our way over to Rohan instead, actually. I like that idea. Yeah, so let's, we're going to turn these armies around. So actually try and gather around Kalanhad over here. So gather around Kalanhad. You, you, and you. All these guys. Because if I get rid of... If I get rid of Lothlorien and Rohan, I don't have to defend those areas, and that frees up four goddamn Nazgul that I've been having just sit around on the defense forever. Because, like, you guys have been here forever. Uh, you guys just got here, and you're now defending Kazadum. So, like, I, I think that's a good way to go about it. Because I'm going to need all my forces to focus down the elves. They're a strong force. Also, let's just finally kill off the forces of Kazadum. Finally. So, I think we should try and do that. There is going to be, like, this land that we have to worry about, which I probably should take at some point. But, yeah, no, we'll send these guys back over. Now, let's go back up here. Because we've got this. I feel like they're going to run, but let's see. So, yep, they ran. Uh, let's see. You can adjust you. You can't get any closer. Ganotan, I need to select you again. You can get right here. And I'm trying to make sure we have as many of these armies as possible in range. Let's see. So now I'm going to try and hit this guy, I think. Maybe he's going to run. Come on, I want one of you to fight me. So that way I can lure you out of the city. Because I want to fight in the open field. So we've got all that. You can't get any closer. Get all tan. Let's try hitting this guy. There we go. So, these ones are not going to run. All led by captains. All not amazing troop quality. They have a couple units that are good. But let's have all of you guys be controlled by the AI. Yep, yep, yep. And that's for these other two armies. It seems like they don't have really great quality. No, they don't. There's a lot of them. But the quality is not crazy. So, let's do this, Ganotan. If once we win this fight, Tuna Down are dead. This is their biggest blob of troops that they have. And without this, more of a Tarth is gonna fall really easily. Um Latash can fall really easily. This is still siege me at Mount Graham, but nah, who it's Mount Graham. That's a that's a mountain hold with me having artillery and everything. Um let's try and get rid of this fog. That's good enough. Let's try you guys up. You guys up. You guys up. Okay. Start the limit. And then... Let's form up. You guys are waiting for blobs to form up. When we see blobs, I will then move with you guys. Get my crossbows. Just adjust you guys a little bit there. My allies are all on the other side. So I, I want to stay where I am. I want to stay where I am. I want my allies to regroup with me. If they want to go after my allies and whatnot, that's fine. I want to see like what they do. Because I have a good amount of skirmishers, I need to make sure I'm utilizing them just right. Because my allies will be absolute idiots. And for the most part right now, it looks like they're going to try and regroup. If they're not going to go for my allies, that's okay. I will take the time, and let's gather my men together. Okay, one of them is starting to go after my allies. Uh, actually, another one too, so down here as well. You guys are also trying to attack my allies. So I'll tell you to attack the armies that are attacking you. So you guys are turned fire. At the moment, though, it looks like 
So you guys are just chilling back here. I'm waiting till my allies get over here. As essentially, I want to make sure I get some good blobs here with you guys. Yeah, they're just all over the place. Number-wise, they've lost. We've lost two percent of our army already. Um, it looks like out of all of my allies' armies, this one's taking the most damage. So let's actually make my way over here, because that force is just chilling there. I'm gonna ignore them. I want to make my way over here. If they want to advance to me, so be it. But we want to group up with my men. And I need to make sure that my guys are focusing on blobs that I can see forming uh, against my enemy or my allies. So that way I can make the most out of you guys. So for right now, two to two, not the worst. You guys are just yeah, hitting, sitting up on that hill. I want to try and help out over here, get rid of this army first. And then essentially we can try and make my way over to kind of loop back around, hit you. Because for right now, yeah, I'm seeing a little bit of blobs around here all forming. I don't like how they're sitting out there, General's bodyguards, and running them straight into my uh, enemies. Uh, that's not exactly what I would want, but it is working. And <laughs> otherwise, 4% on my side. Uh, not what I want to see. Okay, now they're deciding to come down from their hill. Uh, crossbows, you're all good. Um, I do want to have it so that my Nazgul, while this lag fest is going on, I'm going to keep trying to push forward. Uh, I see these are some Arthodine Knights over here. I'm definitely going to use my ammo to hit you guys. Because if we can hit any elite units with my Nazgul, that's kind of the goal right now. So we'll get you guys over here. Basically just need to keep trying to defend my crossbows while getting you guys into position. I do see some rangers there. Let's try and move forward up here. Some of you I do want to try and get in melee over here. Like these are just archers. There goes a enemy general. That's one of the captains. They've got captains for most of their army. And then they have, like, one General's Bodyguard. So if we can take him out, that'd be perfect. Uh, you guys are being shot at. That's not what I want to see. But yeah, hit those knights with the Nazhai. Try and hit them. Wardens over there. This guy. 90 to, like, 50 guys. Yeah, so keep firing into that unit there. Number-wise, let's see. So 11 to 18%. So it is climbing up in our favor. Just taking a while to do so. Let's get you guys over here. There's so many skirmishers all over and so many armies all over the place. There goes another dude. Let's see, please tell me the name general. Nope, still another captain. Because that should be... This is two more general's bodyguards. One general, uh, one actual general and one captain. So if we can get rid of those guys... I can then start trying to scream because that's supposed to affect any uh, unit in range of my men. Um, allies too. So we can maybe possibly get the enemy to start breaking. Let's get you guys over here. Because I think I want to get you away from the skirmishers. Uh, my infantry, honestly, there's a lot of skirmishers in this enemy army. I am pretty okay with you guys just going around and running into people. Just whatever and whoever you can hit. So you guys do that. Crossbows, as long as you're shooting something, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. I will mainly try and control the Nazhai. So you guys, I'm trying to get you over here. Um, I see those armsmen. I want to try and hit those guys. Number wise, it's 16 to 27. One of my entire armies is pretty much dead already, which is not the best. But, slowly but surely. Let's hit, hit those wardens there. Those armsmen there. Uh, one of those wardens there. Try and hit. Oh, there's, a bo there's the bodyguard. Yeah, go over there and hit the bodyguard with the Nazhai. Because if he dies, that's going to be one of the big armies that's actually going to start breaking there. Because 31% are dead. I wish the game wasn't lagging so much. But then again, we have... What was it? Uh, we had like 8,000 men on my side. I'm not surprised. I can only tell what the hell's going on when I do this flash thing. So I can actually kind of see what's going on. Because for right now, there's so many corpses and they're all just kind of blending in. It's hard to tell. Uh, you hit somebody. You did not hit the general's bodyguard with that. Supposed to target the general's bodyguard. Yeah, so focus him down. Because once he's dead, let's see, you're out of ammo. Let's pull you back. You're almost out of ammo. Let's have you throw some more. There's these scouts here. You guys have still not killed the general's body. He's down to three now. How did you miss him? Get your ass back here and fight me. Uh, you guys... Oh, they actually brought their cab over here to fight. Yeah, you guys getting melee. Eh, there's a break. It's 41 to 21. Come 
I just need to kill this child's bodyguard. He's running like a bitch! Where'd he go, man? These are just archer militia units that are fighting us here. Might as well throw some more stuff at these archer militia here. And here. That general winner is somewhere around here. He's on foot, so I know he didn't get very far. I think he's just hiding in this unit. Okay, you guys keep making your up this way. These two. Trying to regroup. I want to try and have it some of my crossbows. At this point in time, um, I see a couple units over here. A couple units over here. I'm going to split you guys in two. So take these three. You can kind of go over this way. These four. Try and make your way over here. So those guys are routing. I don't know where that general's bodyguard went. Oh, is he back here? Is he this one? No, that's not him. I see somebody over here. Oh, there's the Dundine bodyguards. Okay, I'll just have my general's bodyguard just rush over here. Wait, no, that's the Bane guard. Wait, I just saw him. Oh, he's fighting the Bane guard. Yeah, get over there. Try and get over here and help kill him. Because once he's dead, the rest of the enemy army should be pretty easy to break. Because they've lost uh, half their army so far now at this point in time. So a lot of skirmishers just all over the place. That's mainly what they've got right now. Uh, you broke. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Seeing as how you're being led by an army of Nazgul. There we go. So he's finally dead. So now they have they have one more captain somewhere. Don't know where, but uh, I'm going to try and use one of my screams. Because I think we might now be able to start getting their morale to start breaking and or stun them. But yeah, get my infantry in here. Uh, these guys, actually, I don't need you over here anymore. Now that I realize it. So we'll move you closer to here. Because number-wise, yeah, still 52% of their army is dead now. All of my allies are beyond aggressive stance. And then I am now going to be moving with my Nazgul. Start rushing them down. Because we want to start pushing through here. There's just a lot of basic archer militia. If we get in melee, I win against those guys. There we go. So that is the last enemy general that we have to worry about. So at this point in time... I've got all my forces. Some of you are in melee with others. Uh, you are fighting... Oh, some of the Blade Masters actually came over here. Okay, well, uh, let's try and get you guys to surround him and shoot him. I think he's one of the few units that they have that's actually going to be fighting back. Nazhai, uh, I'll have you guys focus on the trebuchets. So you can try and focus on them. And then I see... That's just another trebuchet unit. Yeah, basically trying to focus on all of the artillery pieces with you guys. I really need my allies that have Cav to start running people down because there's so many units that are just routing. So if you guys can start doing that, that'd be great. Crossbows, yeah, just keep firing into the units. Yeah, these wardens are starting to break. These units need to get a little bit closer here. Some of you guys aren't fully really pushing forward like you're supposed to be, but there we go. Get you guys a melee. I've lost two-thirds of their army. I lose about a third of my own overall, which is okay. For the most part, given how many men they had. And hey, finally we get some revenge around here. Okay, they've finally given up. I'm going to continue. We need to make sure we still run everybody down. But they've now at least all broken now at this point in time. So now we just need to start trying to have it. So we're going to run everyone down. My allies that have wargs, you can finally start trying to do things, please. Because I want to get the Magic 85. So we just get to walk on into the city. Because at this point in time, again, this should be the biggest chunk of the Dunedain military. I actually want to try and see if I can notice a sizable difference uh, after this fight. Because if we actually see a noticeable difference in their military after this, that's going to be fucking amazing. There we go. Let's see. So we were able to get the Magic E5 just barely. So now we're going to be able to walk onto the city. Decent amount of damage. Yeah, still 30% of our army overall. But hey, that's fine. This is the biggest part we needed to do with the forces of the Dunedain. Did I recover my trolls? I did not. Damn. That's okay. There we go. Now we get to push on into this city. Take this. And then... Can we get away to the east? They might attack Matt Graham this turn end. They might. Maybe not. I'll have to see. Because for right now, at least... We can just, again, merge men together. Take whoever is the most beat up. They stay in the city. Everybody else just keeps pushing forward. 
Um, I also need to remember if I uh, to check a double check uh, that I think I had a bunch of troops in Boozer Doom that were all gathered together. That I need to push forward as again. Honestly, I need to like maybe switch where I'm sending all those recruit slots. Let's see. So that is then going to be all of that. Oh, they were pushed into the fucking city. Damn it. Hey, now let me double check this because I could have sworn. Yeah. Got a full stack army over here now at this point. So I'll grab all these guys. Which I'll grab all of you. There we go. So those are more armies that have to make their way over here. So keep trying to play catch up and regroup with all of my men. And then for the most part, I think we can try and have it so that basically now I can... Well, I don't want to do the auto resolve because then again I will take... Well, not with... Daniel Tan, at least. Because I don't want him to lose these men. Let's see. So I can't assault here anyways. Oh, I don't have enough movement with some of you. Let's men together. I, I can take the city. I know I can. Given how many men we've got around here. We could also wait until next turn, then I will be able to do this with uh you. Because if I lead, let's see. Uh, you technically can't hit the city. It'd have to be this guy. I'm gonna trust it. Ganotan took no damage. There we go. That's perfect. So yeah, merge those guys together. Repair. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff that's damaged here. Uh, some of it we don't need, though. Just that one. Um, let's have it so then let's get this. And then I'll have to have it so that you guys keep repairing. I'm not going to put you on auto manage just yet, since I know I'm going to need to wait a little bit. Uh, can't get the spy around here either right now. Um, I do have an extra spy up here, though, we can grab. So you can go over there to try and help convert. Same with these guys. Just to make it so this area will convert a little faster. And then I can, if I want to... I'll put you in here for right now, again, I'll 10. Um, and then we need to have it so that we'll do. Because again, anybody that's beat up, I'll have to move you guys out next turn. Because most of you guys don't have movement right now. We have the city. We have it under our control. And now they have practically nothing for their military. Like, this army is here. They should honestly not try and assault Mount Graham if they know what's good for them. If they assault Mount Graham, that's the end of their faction. Because then they're going to have nothing to stop my armies. And there we go. Erdun's leader is dead because they did not sally out. And it means they're almost dead. So just another three turns here. Another two turns here. I can now, at this point in time, uh, now start moving out with the Witch King. Because he was over here around Fruost. So basically, we'll have you start trying to get some stuff to convert this. Put that back onto a growth build policy. And then I'll have to have it so you get a spy around here as soon as you can. Start helping with conversion. But I can try and have it so that what we'll do is... Let's just grab, like, these three. That's a full stack army, then, at least. And you can just make your way immediately to Latash. So you go over that way. I need to remember to repair more of this stuff. Keep getting some more conversion. And then I'll start putting you on to growth build policy. And then we should now be able to start making our... Well, actually, no, first of all. Well, actually, because you guys are destroyed damage over here. See, so yeah, that's fine. So now we need to have it. So what we'll do is let's leave behind anybody that is beat up in this city to kind of watch over it for us. And then we will start making my way over to Morbitar. So this army, you can go there. Oh, wrong unit. Actually, this army is pretty beat up. So this one will probably be the one that stays behind anyways. So you guys go into the city. Let's see. Got these guys as well. So let's see, they're right now 40%. I might need to leave somebody be here actually to watch over the area. There. Let's see. I will leave, because this area is really pissed off. Although, oh, it's going to be fine. Yeah, once this all finishes up from repairs, yeah, there's 20 here. Yeah, there's so much public order from all this stuff being repaired, so we should be fine with just the units we have around there. Then we'll just want to have it so we group these guys up. And start moving. Uh, I need five more units in this army, though, first. So let's grab, like, these five. You could use three more units. And I think that is perfect. Okay. So let's start making our way over to Morvatarth. 
This other army around that they have around this area should be fine. I'll just push you away from the city. Actually, this force is fine. You can just auto-resolve them. God damn it! Okay. You guys just sit in the city, I guess. It's fine. It's a small enough army if they attack that, it's not gonna matter. Okay, let's just start pushing you guys forward here. Got these six armies at least. They're still sieging Mount Graham. They can do so if they like. That's fine. And then I just need literally just three more turns here. I can't wait until you guys are done with these guys. And now we actually have a decent amount of money again as well. You're still sieging me out here, which... I don't want to fight this. If you starve the area out... No, I should just do this damn fight. Because you guys... Actually, I can just take the... You're fine, Sakaar. Yeah, Sakaar's fine with an auto resolve there. I want him to keep minimizing casualties because we need to have him be able to move out of here again, but it's fine. This is an area that we can now start retraining anyways, so we'll do that. So, you guys up here, you go over there. Keep retraining what you can. And then for the most part right now, you guys are still over there. Yeah, you guys are all still moving out. Um, I think I need to turn. Yeah, you need to turn back around. I forgot to turn you back around so we can keep having you guys go towards Rohan. Because money-wise, uh, we're barely making cash right now. So we're going to want to be careful on recruiting anything for right now. But now that we're starting to take more territory, uh, my economy should start building back up again to kind of match the military we have at the moment. Alright, it looks like you guys are going to be spawning a Doom stack, Erdlun. I don't think it's going to matter. Um, let's spot guard here. New Nazgul back. I think that should be Kamul. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have some of these guys. I'm going to start sending you down this way anyways. Because I want to start... If it is Kamul. Because I want to start getting ready some troops over here. To be able to try and have it. So we're going to be pushing into the forces of uh, Rohan from the west. So we'll start gathering some troops around here. So that we're ready to go once I have everybody in position with uh, Sodomon. Who is still moving slowly but surely over here to be able to get up and group up with everybody else. So you guys keep making your way this way. It'll take you guys a while, but once you're in position, I'll have all the armies at least ready on the western side of uh, Rohan, I believe. So you guys keep making your way up this way. And then, um, the Siege of Carnage Doom, that's fine. Uh, I still have the forces of the Witch King making his way over towards Latash, so I don't care if you guys want to attack that. The garrison in there is pretty decent, so we should be okay. And then next turn, I'll be able to hit more of a Tarth myself anyways. So they'll literally just have one city left. Which I'm curious if they're going to actually try and attack Mount Graham at all or not. They might. Honestly, I could actually send you up here if I wanted you to try and help out with them. Although, you can get to Latash sooner. So we should actually have you, all of you, at least you turn around. Ganos hand as well. All of you guys turn around and start trying to go to the Latash. Because I don't need everybody over here. And then, uh, looks like they have their Doomstack spawned around Thorin's Halls. Nah, it just doesn't matter at all, really. If they want to try and attack that city, they are fine. Uh, over here, at least. I can just auto-resolve through you now. This one's taking enough damage that you guys can just auto-resolve through that. Because that's the only city I would expect them to possibly interrupt. So, like, let's go over here. And then, as do I need any of these? Just need these destroyed. Now I want every single one of those then. Okay. So try and retrain, retrain everything. And then start trying to get conversion. Put this onto growth build policy. And then can I actually just finish them off this turn? Honestly, I probably can. I had one should be fine. Yes. So as soon as you spawn your doomstack, it does not matter. As you are now dead. <sighs> Fucking finally. It took forever to get rid of you guys, but once you're out of the picture, it's so fucking relieving. I love it. Um, stop that. Get the conversion stuff. You can't get a spy around here, but that's okay. But yeah, start getting the growth build policy there. And then, I now get to have all of these excess troops just start making their way to the east. We're just gonna start gathering these guys all together. Still this rebel army here. I don't know what they're going to do, but for now, I'll leave it. Uh, let's try and move you guys out of here. And let's try and have you be the ones watching over this. There you go. So you can watch over that territory for us. And then all these armies need to start making their way over here too. So like right there. And right there. Can I move units out of Angsul yet? You guys are starting to get free upkeep, but not yet. 
Okay, and then Castle Doom is sieged once again by the elves. That's fine. If you guys want to try and if you actually assault us, that's fine. If you decide not to, then uh, that's where I start cons being concerned. But that's good for now with you guys. Let's see. Spy over there. Right. Yeah, so Erdogan is now dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm after this video. I feel like we're going to start trying to figure out like what campaign we're going to be starting to do next. Because at this point in time, I know we're kind of ignoring the forces of uh, Dornrain a little bit right now. I think, if anything, um, with us retraining this stuff, I'll be trying to have it so that what we'll do is, eventually, we want to start trying to hit the land of uh, Dale a little bit too. That way we can start trying to give some of their territory over to the Adonaim as well. Another candidate for adoption, I'll accept you. Currently, let's see, so he's over, where are you at? You're in Kalanhad. That's actually kind of perfect because I was going to be bringing troops over this way anyway. So yeah, you can just stay around there for right now. Uh, back up here. Let's see. So they are still That's sieging Mount Graham. But I am now almost to Latash. Yeah, they pulled away from Karnadum. Okay. But yeah, I'll at least turn around Ganaltan. You can make your way over here as well. And then honestly, Leo Freck will be able to very easily take this with all of you guys. So screw these guys up around here to minimize casualties for the overall army. And then... We'll push out of more of a Tarth here. Let's see as soon as I can hit the city, there it is. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, is that the faction leader? That's the faction heir. Yeah, take him out. Practically no damage. And then let's just leave behind. So let's see, we need to repair this stuff. Get our conversion back up and running around here again. Get a spy around there. Put that back onto growth build policy. And then let's see, I want to leave behind... I'm just going to leave behind these two. Leave behind them. Then we can start making my way up here. There, 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 and there. Still surprised I'm not at war with the Vale yet. Kind of is expecting it by now at this point. Let's see mission success. Got a little bit of money from that. Beautiful. Okay. But now, honestly, if they don't bring anything else around here, I am killing them next turn. Because I can just do that fight myself. You should be able to win that fight. Um, ooh, there's actually some like orcs snow spears. I'll grab the cell swords though. That's a decent unit. And then we have all of these guys grouping up. I feel like... Okay, so... With us fighting the Veil at some point, I'm probably wanna, gonna want to grab my troops and some of my troops and push over to Goblin Town. At least take that initially. Like, basically, we'll gather a lot of troops around the Tash, but then I want to have it so we'll have a couple units push over here. They'll take Kamath Bryn, Goblin Town... And then we can hold Goblin Town until we push down this way, basically. So I feel like the troops that are gathering over here... Where they went? These guys. These guys I'll try and have basically make their way over. It's so like you guys... Basically, gather on more of a Tarth. Gather on more of the Tarth, because then you can be ready to try and help out over around there. So just start trying to push over here. You'll be able to be the ones that push on up to hit Kamath Bren. So with you, you, and you. So do that with all these guys. And then these guys are still chilling there. I'm probably going to try and see if I can just easily kill you guys off with just some random troops around back here so I don't have to send anybody back. So we'll recruit some more guys there. Grab some men here. You're waiting until we can convert this area. But yeah, so keep trying to convert that area there. Growth of policy, get more spies. Or at least you have one, so I think that's good enough. But yeah, I'll try and gather this guy around, and then some men in Thorin's halls, and try and get rid of at least that one rebel army, just because it's kind of in an area that prevents us from moving out of here. Well, we could just ignore it. Okay, these guys turn around, I feel like, possibly. Um, I think it's fine. I really want to just have us be able to focus on trying to get rid of you guys. Which just needs, literally, as long as they don't bring a really big-ass army over there again, I can finish off the Dunedain next turn. They will be dead. And then we finally killed two factions now. We've killed two factions now. We'll be able to have it so that now we're focusing on, at least right now, getting all these troops over here. So we can push on into the forces of Rohan. Which I do not think will take long, especially if I'm gathering a ton of troops over here for Kamul... Uh, for Kamul, and then we have Shevos and Lagarin, who have been just doing nothing this entire time. 
So you guys just, yeah, start gathering troops around these areas. So it's easier for us to be able to try and send these troops out. Oh, she had just where these guys are recruiting these units. Because now we're going to be going more to the east a little bit instead. All right, here you guys come again for Casa Doom. I think that's fine. Again, if we have a similar battle like last time, especially with you only being led by captains, we're going to destroy these guys. Because, hey, if Lothlorien wants to keep throwing their troops at us and just keep whittling them down, it's going to make the process of bringing all my men to bear on uh, Rohan and then them even easier. So I'm okay with that. Because for right now, let's see, we'll get my men set up. This shouldn't be pretty, this shouldn't be that bad. Just need to get you guys to group up, basically. As long as you guys do that, and we can get some shots off with my Nazgul, like this battle has been won. So let's group you guys up here. I'll move all my infantry in a second. Just try and get you guys here yourselves. Just run down, guys. Run down over here. I'll have to adjust my crossbows in a second as well. It's like there. There. There, and then these two, right there. Ballistas also kind of move up too. And then the Nazgul just need to make sure you guys will hold off until they've all blobbed up to start firing. Or they can send their cab to interrupt us, awesome. Um, okay, so start trying to throw things. Nazgul, start trying to open up into their giant blobs. They've already lost 5% of their army. That was, okay. Yep, 35% in that volley, fucking beautiful. There you go. Keep that up. Oh my God. I love this. It's worse than Fulberg. I love it. You guys just keep firing. They're already almost all dead. Yeah, 84% are already dead. Jesus Christ. I love the Nazgul as Isengard. Abso-fucking-lutely. Like, look at this. 93% of their army is dead now. There, we go. there goes the captain now. So with him dead, yeah, Nazgul crossbows just start unloading into who's left. It's mainly just some of those scouts, basically. Yeah, I lost 4% of my army for this. God, I love this. This is against an elven army, too. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like this one guy is still alive. You're like the only one that's still holding out. Everybody else has died and given up. Let's see. So I lost 61 Nazgul got at least 820 kills each. That is disgusting. They almost killed a half of the army each. That's... I love that. Okay. Kaz Doom has held once more. That's good. Now we'll just have to have it so that... Like, you just keep... You need to retrain around here. Continuously keep, just to keep doing that. And I will slow... I, mean, I want to check and see their military. Oh, actually, I want to do that anyways, because I want to see how uh, things affected the Dunedain with that one fight we did with them. Because if their military is just absolutely dropping, oh, it's beautiful. Because I, I wonder how long it's going to take us to kill Rohan. I don't think that long. If I'm actually focusing all of my armies, or a good chunk of my armies, all on Rohan at the same time, I don't think it's going to take us long to finish them off. Because, let's see, we can execute all of you guys. Yeah, because Rohan only has, let's see, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think nine regions? Yeah, that's not that bad. Decline of the Rangers! Oh no! You guys gonna have your Doomstacks uh, hit too? Let's see, Latash. Fuck, this army's right next to it. I will only address you, you are not strong enough to take it on your own unless you have Night Battle. You have Night Fighter. Fuck yes. Okay, so you should be okay. Let's move you over here just in case. But yeah, you should be able to do that. Because Ganeltan... Yeah, they're starting to pull back. Okay, beautiful. Then it's easier for me to have all of these guys just walk around here. Instead of having to wait to go all the way around the damn mountain. So you guys go there, 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 and then there. And then we'll have it so now. This will be the last thing we do for today. But we will claim Latash. And once and for all... Oh, actually, unless... That is a captain. Good. Good. I am able to now go on in here. Ignore that other army. Take Latash. The Doomedine will be dead. I will then have... The entirety of... Uh, it's Eriador? Is this area? Under my control. We have now everything west of the goddamn Misty Mountains under our control. Now we need to have it so that we just start to gather our, our forces to all push into the same area. I do have a lot of skirmishers in this army. A lot of artillery pieces, but that's okay. Let's get you guys to kind of push forward a little bit. Start the battle. Can't remember if I can break down gates at all in this uh, city or not. I'll have you guys at least for right now. Yeah, break down... I mean, break down walls, I mean. As most of the walls in this mod are just indestructible, unless, uh, if they're a custom city. Yeah, so like, let's have you guys try and break that. Come on, 
Break down the gates. There you go. And yeah, I can't destroy. Uh, I might be able to destroy towers at least. So let's get my infantry. Move you guys forward. Crossbows as well. Just try and have it so yeah, the towers are taken out. So we should be able to damage and destroy those. You guys can get close enough so I can see. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, destroy those. Then we just need to have it so that I'll try and have my ballistas start opening up into uh, their trebuchets. And then Blade Masters, Volunteers, Volunteers. Balance of power wise is not that crazy. Yeah, open up onto these towers. Get those to stop firing. There we go. Okay. Ballistas, uh, try and hit that trebuchet. Catapult, if you could try and hit over there, that'd be great. Infantry, you guys need to just start pushing forward. Let's have basically some of you try and go over to the side here, and some of you off to the side here, essentially. Crossbows, I'll try and get up onto the walls, if I can. Try and get you guys a high ground advantage point. You guys just go around them there to kind of flank them a little bit. Because I do not want the catapults to be able to fire into me like that, so please no. Okay, you guys go there, you keep fighting the catapult. Ballistas, you're kind of trying to take out the trebuchets. There you go. Yeah, take out the trebuchets. And then I'll have it so that, yeah, my crossbows. You guys are trying to get on up on top there. I do have my wargs. You guys should hopefully be able to kind of maybe push on in here. Go around. And then I can have you guys try and flank the ballistas. Although, actually... Let's see... Blade Masters is actually a pretty good unit. The Bodyguard, yeah, you guys can get in range to the Bodyguard. Oh, there's two Bodyguards in here. I did not realize that. Yeah, if you guys can't get in range to hit those units, that'd be great. Because these Catapults are almost dead there. Wargs, um... Are you running in? Oh, they're still outside the gates. Okay, that's why. Okay, yeah, now you guys start trying to go over here. Because number-wise, eh, it's not the best in our favor, but... We have been blobbed up. They've been able to get shots in with our, their, their artillery, so I'm not surprised. But yeah, you guys try and see if you can hit the general's bodyguard with the ballistas there. Wargs, you're trying to get around here. So I'm trying to get you guys to go for this ballista here. So you just kind of run around to the side. Uh, you guys are yeah, getting some of the shots over there. Beautiful. Let's try and weaken the other bodyguard a little bit too. Because okay, so you guys run over here. Try and go for that ballista. See, there we go. Numbers are now a little bit better. Crossbows. Uh, I don't know why you guys are taking so much damage. It's probably the general's bodyguard shooting you, I feel like. And have you guys trying to get down to the ground. Actually, just pull back here for right now. Pull back there for right now. The volunteers are now attacking you. Pull back. Because they've lost 42% of their army so far. Bodyguards, a little weakened. Let's try and get my wargs, if I can, back over here. Try and see if I can have you guys flank the volunteers. Otherwise, as long as we take the city, I don't care how many men we lose for this. Because this will guarantee the death of the Dunedain. Okay, there we go. Flank the volunteers. That will help kill them off a little faster. They do have some blade masters in there, too, which is a little concerning. Let's get my cav to pull back. Go for the trebuchet. All of these guys. Let's go help flank over here. We still need to finish off the other ballista there. Yeah, looks like these guys are slowly dying. Not as quickly as I would like them to be. I just kind of keep cycling between them. Crossbows hold off until we can kind of get a better area for you guys. Ballistas, yeah, just keep going back and forth. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. I don't like how many men we've lost here right now. Very much in our favor. I really do not like that. Only half our force remains. Like we're at, we're winning. Not by much though. Crossbows, you want to try and run around here to the side. I think it's those blade masters. Those blade masters are doing a lot of damage. So if you guys can get over here, I'm going for them. Just bodyguard. They're close to dead. Finish those guys off there. Yeah, crossbows. Go here. I need to start hitting those guys in the back. These units are taking way too long to die right here. So specifically... Yeah, just shoot in there. Yeah, they are opening up with us uh, with their drones bodyguard. Let's try and charge into them. I, I've got a good charge bonus, so we can maybe do a good amount of damage. 
It's like right there and right there. Trying to prevent you guys from firing because you do have armor piercing, so you're a really good unit to go up against us. That charge did nothing. Yep, that's what I kind of thought. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Volunteers are almost dead. Oh, I don't like that. That okay, cat breaking. They've lost most of their men. Uh, try and shoot the general's bodyguards with the crossbows now. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Right, a little bit of damage. Off to the side. Off to the side, guys. So we can keep firing into the general's bodyguard. Because he's got 26 units in this bodyguard. There we go. Yeah, open up into him. I'd like to get you guys out of melee. I've got infantry here. Let's get you guys to push forward. Try and save my crossbows there. The there we go. Okay, fire into the other one. There's one general's bodyguard dead. Okay, hit this guy. Yeah, as long as my crossbows are still alive, we'll be okay. Keep firing into him. Infantry. Focus on the other guy. Uh, their ballista came back. Focus the general's bodyguards first. Once the once the general's bodyguard is dead, we've won. The ballista can do what it can, but it's not gonna be able to stop us if we can get my melee infantry into melee with him. Come on. Four guys left. Can you stop hitting my crossbows so efficiently, you assholes? Start capturing the safe center. My general's bodyguard trying to run over this way. Because you guys are trying. This is the general's, but this is their king, so it's going to take a while for him to die. Ballista there. Yeah, just start open fire into the ballista, possibly. Because he should die before we uh, capture the safe center. I would expect him to. Come on. Down to 14 guys there. Okay, come on. Who's dying first? Oh, he's running. He is just running away. He's not routed. Get my Joe's bodyguard to focus him down, and then he should die. There we go. Took a lot of damage, but that is fine. Now that the Dunedain have fallen, I don't care. So now at this point in time, we just need to now start gathering troops together. Because we'll gather all of my men together we have around here. That we had like that were sieging Erdluin. Gather them around Latash. I would hope I get to go on the offensive against the Vale. Because I want to push them to um, Goblin Town first. I want to push that section to Goblin Town. Because that's a really good area to try and hold them at bay. Then, while well, we have somebody hold Goblin Town, we have everybody push out from uh, Latash into Mount Gundabad, Boozadoom, all that. It's going to be a lot. And, um... I know they have some pretty good units. But I'll have to see how that's going to go. <laughs> yeah, start trying to... Growth build policy. Can't retrain anything or recruit any spies around here, sadly. But that's okay. But, we now have... All of... The Mountains of Angmar. Mount Graham, High Pass. All of this, basically, is now under my control, essentially. And at this point in time, I do think it is now time to start thinking about what campaign is going to keep pick, picking up after this one. Because with all of my forces working together, pushing this way, essentially oh, the only territory I want for myself, everything else goes to the Adonai. I want all of the stuff west of the Anduin. So I want all of this for me. Anything west of it, I do not want really. And I then also at least want these mountains here. I want Erebor. And I'd probably say, like, these mountains here, too. So, basically, I will kill... Uh, I will take the land um, from Airborne myself. And then everything else goes to the forces of the Adonai. But at this point in time, with all of our troops now all gathered around here, I can now literally just be like, Okay, hey, just mass-produce troops towards Latash. Mass-produce troops towards... Um, well, not Kazdoom just yet, because Kazdoom we have to still have it so that, like... Like, we're whittling down their military... The forces of the Dune Diner are now dead now, so it doesn't matter, but I do want to see... Yeah, you can see a noticeable difference in their military from that one fight we did with them. But uh, Lothlorien... There is a noticeable decrease in their military. With them continuously sending full-stack armies at Khazadum, 
I will continuously still whittle these guys down. But no, I, I will be done for today. So I'm going to hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love you guys have to say about this campaign. If that's how in general, that's Rampaign. I'll see you guys next time. But uh, Lothlorien, there is a noticeable decrease in their military.